Hello, today we have HP laptop, the model is HP Pavilion DV6000. This is actually a dumpster laptop, the customer brought it, uh, he found it in the dumpster, so he wants to know what exactly is the problem. This is very old laptop and they have a very common fault with the video cards. So right now what is doing when you plug the charger we have lights but we have nothing on the screen so I am 99% sure that the problem is the video card so just second so let's continue this will be basically a disassembly video plus some extra heating on the video card, I guess. Let's start with the disassembly. We're gonna open the laptop. We're gonna see if we heat up the chip a little bit. We'll have some change in the behavior of the laptop. This is not a fix, this is just for uh, diagnostic purposes, so don't get me wrong. We're gonna remove all the screws on the back and we're gonna flip the laptop. That's the boring part with the screws. You can skip it if you like. The screws around the battery are a little bit shorter than the other ones, keep that in mind. Pay attention, we, since we have to remove the board, there is um, two screws here which we have to remove there on the board. So let me see, yeah, I think this is it. Otherwise we won't be able to lift the board. Let's double check because I always forget some screws. I think we're fine. Now let's start. First we have to remove the plastic above the keyboard. Just lift it a little bit up front and remove the keyboard.
we're gonna disconnect the cables from both sides it will be much easier otherwise we have to remove the cables all the way here to the board so this is a tricky laptop actually Yeah, we have to take out the Wi-Fi cables. So I think that's the camera cable I think or something like that now I'm not sure do we have to remove the display but I think not We're gonna remove the screws first and we'll see how it goes. We have to disconnect the touchpad also. And now we have to no we have to take out the display otherwise we won't be able to lift the plastic the display is held by four screws total Now, let's see. We have a screw here we have to remove. And the plastic is out. Now we have to we'll take out this small board here so it will be much easier for us to lift the board. There are two hidden screws under the card. Now we have one screw here. I think that's it. Let's see. We have a cable here for the for the headphones, so we're gonna disconnect it. We're gonna disconnect the cable here for the power power jack, and let's see what else. Yeah, the board is out. Now we have to remove the cooler in order to get access to the 
both chips. There's the cooler. If if you want just to replace the thermal paste, that's where the disassembly ends. You just have to clean everything, put a new thermal paste, and reassemble on the reverse. But since we have to do something more, that's the video card. I think that's the problem. We're gonna apply just small amount of heat in order to to see will there be any changes. We're gonna put some some flux under the chip. I repeat again, that's not a fix. This is just for a diagnostic purpose. Let me try to zoom a little bit if it's possible. We're gonna use the hot air. I usually use 450 for a couple of seconds. Since my hot air station is cheap one, I'll heat it a little bit longer in order to have some chance There's a glue around the chip, I don't remove it because like I told you this is just for testing. I doubt the customer will agree to replace the video card, but if he's agreed then we're gonna clean everything after that. Don't hit don't uh, heat up directly the the crystal. Otherwise, you can crack it. I think that's enough. Let's wait a little bit. Now, just for the testing, we're gonna put the cooler and uh, put back everything in the chassis just so we can. Uh, power on Like this, we're gonna connect to the display. We're gonna use one screw just so the display don't wiggle around. Now I 
I think we have to put back the power button. Yeah. Okay. I think this should be the power button. Now let's put the charger. I think it's cool enough. Have fan spin. And we have a picture. Yeah, it says BIOS reset and yeah, stuff like that. Basically, that's the procedure. Uh, if I try to reassemble the laptop, the video will be very, very long. I have to speak with the customer first, so basically, I will stop the recording now. So this is how you open this model to replace the thermal paste or just to diagnose the do you have a faulty video card or not. Uh, this model, this particular model have uh, pretty often that problem so that's it for now. Hope you like the video. Bye bye.